Ladies and gentlemen, the time has finally arrived to do a new One Piece case opening. This is the newest set, OP06 Twin Champions. Let's not waste any time and get right into it right after this intro. Alright, 12 booster boxes here, and guys, I've been seeing several people get God Packs. I don't know if that's what we have in this case. We can only hope. I'll take a God Pack or that Zoro Manga Rare. Uh, but yeah, first I saw it from Card Bro Global. They pulled it, and then like, if you only see one person do it, you're like, ah, I don't know about this. But I've seen three more people get God Packs, so it is a real thing. And in this set, what the God Pack is, you pull all the leader cards, all the uh, alt art leader cards. Those big fat faces on the card, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and let me tell you, it's been breaking my heart, guys, because it's the new hot set, and I'm on TikTok a little too much, but I see all these live streamers, and I'm. Um, I know it's on Whatnot too, I haven't been on Whatnot in a while, but on TikTok, just alone, I've been seeing these boxes go for like $90, $100, $80, and it's like breaking my heart. I'm like, oh my god, they're not worth that much. Uh, they should be like, you should be paying like $65 a, a, a box for this. Um, I, I buy from straight from Japan. Like, I want to go in their chat. I want to go straight in their chat and, and just be in the comment section and be like, what are you doing? You're ripping these people off. Guys, just buy from... Like, literally, you can just buy from eBay, it'd be cheaper than these streamers. Um, uh, but I, I buy from someone on Instagram. And I'll, I'll link him down below if you guys want to buy from him. It's the cheapest price, most affordable price I've found for One Piece. And I, I buy the cases whole, but he sells booster boxes, he sells Pokemon. Just tell him I sent you, he said that he'll give anyone, like, he'll give everyone, like, a, a little discount if uh, if you say that i sent you so i'll just link that below i'm not a ribbon shipper i'm not selling cards to you guys so i have nothing to lose by telling you who i buy from just please let him know i sent you my dream is my dream is to, like it's sponsored by him it'd be really cool to like if he would it'd be great advertising for him and it'd be just really cool for, for me as well like if he sent me like free boxes just to open on youtube like this video i think will get over 10k views like pretty quickly <clears throat> in time maybe maybe it'll take a month we'll see uh, my last case opening has 14k views, so I'm just basing it off of that. But uh, yeah, um, you can message him on Instagram, check out the link, tell him I sent you. Alright, just opened up that whole booster box, let's see what is in here. I'll go a little slow right now, I'm seeing these cards for the first time. I've seen some stuff online, but these cards are newer to me. And uh, let me tell you, um, so my last case opening... I was on around chapter 300 of the manga where Luffy just met Frankie and I'm proud to say uh, I am now on chapter like 600. So from the Water 7 arc all the way to the time skip where they're meeting up again, I read all that and let me tell you my journey has been like an emotional roller coaster of ups and downs. Like this show literally had me crying a couple times man. Like some, like yeah, some of the arcs were freaking incredible. Of course, the War Arc, the Ocean Seven or the Water Seven Arc, um, when um, Nico Robbins like, I want to live. Oh my god! And then like, she says that, and then it cuts straight to Luffy, and he smiles, and like I got so pumped. I'm like, yeah, Luffy, save the day, Luffy. Uh, unfortunately, I still don't know a lot of these characters here. I haven't gotten been, gotten there yet. Um, this arc was weird. The zombie arc, I didn't really understand the point of that. That was. I know, not my favorite arc. This was sick, man. When they introduced this guy, and his name is escaping me. That's the downside of this being in Japanese. Um, he like lit up the whole Straw Hat crew. Like he, uh, not not just the Straw Hat crew, but all the pirate rookies. Like moving the speed of light. It, it was uh, what an insane introduction. And is this the alt art? Mm, this is the S art. I don't know if this is the art alt art. It may be. But uh, this 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 uh, this set's cool because it has the Zoro the manga Zoro, but there's so many cards and characters from that zombie arc and um, the name's escaping me. All right, here's this has to be the altar, right? I don't know. I, I feel like if it's jumping the border, it's the altar, but I don't think it's the altar because there's I think there's, there's supposed to be a star there. Uh, yeah, but this set is heavily that like even this pig lady is that zombie arc. This guy, that's probably my least favorite arc of. One piece so far. All right, let's start going a little faster. Zoro. Oh, we have something back here. She's that. Now that's the alt art. Okay, so every booster box has an alt art, and we have 
Oh, the mermaid lady that got kidnapped. All right, so yeah, if you, you can tell it's an alt art by there's a star above the, the rarity symbol. Oh, that's beautiful. Cool. Yeah, that was a that was a crazy arc there. I can't believe they. <laughs> oh my god. Here, I'll, I'll tell you after <laughs> we rip the other stuff. Oh, actually, no. We have a whole stack here. Oh my god. All right, I need to go faster. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah. So, the slave trade, like in real life. Oh, that's a cool card. I like that. The slave trade in real life is, is a, it's a sick, sick thing. Like it's a, I think it's like a billion dollar industry. Slavery, current slavery, it's crazy. Oh, we have something back here. Oh, nice. This is the leader right here, Altar leader. Beautiful. That's awesome. Okay. Um, and though it wasn't my, this wasn't my favorite arc, I do like the art. This art's really, he looks really scary and menacing. But yeah, I was not expecting One Piece, like a kid's show, to introduce slavery. And these people are just being uh, uh, kidnapped left and right. The one dude, he was part of like the Dragon Bloodline. I forgot what they call it. I think it had Dragon in the name. But he shoots some... Oh, love the Don card. Um, I saw that online. So uh, that's cool, the Don card though. Um, anyways, yeah, so he shoots... Oh, he, he goes to kidnap a random like nurse lady, right? He's like, you're mine now puts her into slavery and the boyfriend her fiance is like no please i'm begging you and then he shoots him dead in the street I, my, my jaw dropped i'm like what the hell is this like the creator really knows how to make a villain unlikable they really built him up to where like when luffy like hit him punched him right in the face in the auditorium like the audience is like yes like we were waiting for that moment all right All right, second booster box. Let's get right to it. Uh, but back to that Water 7 arc. Luchi, man. I know he was a villain, but that guy is... He has, that's a bad man. I, I really liked like his style, his get-up, uh, the way he carried himself. He was cool. Cool villain. Oh, I don't know who that guy is, but he looks cool. Can't wait to get to that part. Man, I'm sorry. The name is escaping. Guys, I've been watch While well, I was reading the manga and watching the anime at different times. So, like... Like, a lot of these names are escaping me, unfortunately. And I was, as I'm reading the manga, I'm, like, trying to make a mental note. Like, don't forget this name. Don't forget this name. This important person. But it's, like, escaping me as I'm trying to open this stuff. Oh, Shanks. I know him. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, but, yeah, the zombie arc, the main villain. So, Nico Robin, she goes to break his neck, right? Like, she does her uh, devil fruit power. Really cool power. She goes to snap his neck. And he has the ability to exchange, change his, like, physical position with his shadow so like physical attacks don't work on him and there he is so i'm like oh man this guy is like unstoppable but then luffy ends up beating him with physical attacks so that, that's what didn't really make sense to me and i see something in the back there okay that's what we were looking for god look at that beauty this is the secret rare zoro wow can we just get a look at that Beautiful. I don't know. I, I don't know if this is like guaranteed in every case. I would think so. Man, I love the artwork and the, and the art style. Beautiful. Right, let's put that right there. The Zoro again. Uh, I like Luffy's grandpa, Garp. Uh, I would like to see like a backstory with him and um, Son Goku or Ren Goku, like when they were younger. I feel like they had some really cool stories. All right, off to the next booster box. Oh, my camera fell over there. All right, let's get back to it. Another Don card. Man, uh... Oh, by the way, guys, if you're into uh, case openings, uh, I got another OP06 case as well sitting in, sitting in the back here. So please subscribe if you want to see more case openings. Oh, my God. Crap, what was the guy's name that, um, he took all of Luffy's pain and put it into Zoro. That was pretty sick. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Oops, there's the alt art. See, I don't even know who this guy is yet. Yeah, I'm on chapter, like, 600, 601. I'll find out. But it's so cool now that I'm, like, I've, I've caught up a lot. So, all, I've been opening a lot of One Piece sets, so I just, now I know the cards more. Like, I was pulling stuff, like, good cards, and I don't even know the characters. So, it feels so much better to actually know what I'm looking at for the most part. 
All right, fourth booster box right here. Again, guys, subscribe. I'll do another case opening next week. So sub to see that. This guy was interesting. It, it was messing with my mind because he would he'd be a male and then female sometimes, and they they wouldn't show uh, Eva uh, or Eva or whatever uh, Ava switching him. Like I don't even know who this is. Germa sixty six. That looks cool though. So I was like. Am I remembering this wrong? Is this a guy or a girl? Am I seeing this wrong? But, uh, uh, Eva, I did not know was so powerful. Like, I pulled an Eva card like, months and months ago, the leader card from a, I forgot which set it was. I'm like, this character looks weird. And then to finally see him slash her in the show. Oh, another Zoro. Nice. Another secret rare. What are there? Four secret rares in a case, I think? Something like that. Uh, but yeah, she, he, she was bad, eh? Also seen Frankie's backstory with, I believe his like father figure. His name was Tom. That was a really cool character. Uh, One Piece is really good with the emotional backstories. <laughs> like they know how to. Oh, there you are. Uh, know how to make like really tragic backstories. And Demon Slayer's like that too. Something about the Japanese man. If you watch the movies, the anime stuff is so depressing and dark. But then it can also be really hopeful with Luffy. Luffy's a really hopeful, cheery guy. Even though during uh, like Impel Down and Marine Four, like he's just murdering so many Marines, and yeah, there's like some really bad Marines. Like the fact that the higher ups let the slave trade thing go, like it's no big deal, is like wow, that really makes you guys the villain. But a lot of those guys, you know, the the uh, the lackeys, they just think they're doing the right thing. You know, sign up for the military, uh, fight against the evil pirates, because most of the pirates are evil. Like, they'll just show up to a village and, like, take it over and... Like, Vikings, you know, like, rape and pillage or whatever. So, I get why everyone's always after Luffy. Like, just saying you're a pirate is a really bad look. Because most of them are pretty crappy. They don't follow laws or anything. That's cool. I've seen this... I haven't gotten to this part of the show, but I've seen this clip where Zoro slices him up. And it's really awesome. It's really cool to see how powerful Zoro gets. All right, box five. Let's check this out. Oh, there we go. There's the immediate hit of the booster box right there. We have Sanji, secret rare. So two Zoros, one Sanji. Maybe the next one will be the manga rare. Let's check that out, guys. Let's see all the texture. Let me feel it. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely rigid. Really cool. All right, six box right here. Let's get right into it. What else did I see in the manga? So, first of all, it, the uh, the impel down where they torture people that was that was just a whole fun thing. It's like the whole time, I'm like, how is Luffy gonna get out of this? Because this place is supposed to be like they built it up to be you can't escape from it. Um, it's dangerous. People die. And the uh, the warden, God, what's his name? Dang it, dang it. He was really cool. The poison guy. Uh, he was awesome. And I see a secret or an alt art back there. Not secret, but... Oh, wow. What is that? Oh my god, I can't even read this. Oh, this is the special rare. Oh, sorry. Let me get this in frame. Look at that. I don't know this character, unfortunately, but I will. Wow, she looks like she's in some kind of cartoon. Uh, man, this must be from uh, a later arc. But, wow, that's really pretty. See all the texture, guys? Wow. That is the special rare. Okay, let's put that to the side there. That's Sanji. Uh, where was I though? Oh yeah, the poison guy. He was, he was bad, eh? He was really powerful. <clears throat> and then who was the, um, the guy that even mentioned Ivanka? The swan dude? Who was that, number two, I think his name is? Like on the on the web, I saw videos of like how like people like the fans really love him and respect him, and I didn't know why. 
Until I saw that, I was like, oh, okay, that's why people think, like, he's a real one. Oh, that's cool. I didn't see that one. I don't think. Oh, and then that's the fourth secret rare. If there's only four secret rares in a case, that means we did not get the manga card. Unless there's a fifth one, you never know. But, uh, it is what it is. Oh, by the way, guys, back here is my artwork. Here's a Zoro. This is actually up for auction right now as I'm talking. As you're watching this, this is on eBay. A 10-day auction. The link is in the description. Here's a Zoro black and white drawing. I put a lot of detail and, like, line work into this one. And then also I have a Gear 5 Luffy. The purple background. This is ink wash, black and white ink pen, and I use pen nib to white out and then acrylic paint for the color. Look at all the detail. Just click the link if you want to win one of these in the auction down below. And here is the Sanji with the black and yellow sh sh or like racing stripes back there. Just want to make sure you get like a clear look at the face. Like, it's a lot of line work in this. There we go. We have Sanji up for sale. We have Gear 5 Luffy. And then we have Zoro. I really, I really like the Zoro one. And you, if you look at here, this is the whiteout, making the, the glare effect on the, on the sharp sword. Alright, here is the seventh box. Is it possible to still find a god pack in this case? I'm not sure. But we'll find out together. Figuring out the pull rates together in a case. Exciting stuff. And then we have a, this is the alt art of the case. I, uh, again, I don't know who this is. I'm on chapter 600, 601, 602, something like that. And I've not seen her yet. Unless she's in a, in a previous arc, I don't remember, but. It, it just doesn't hit as strong as much as when you don't know the character, you know? But let's appreciate the texture at least. Got the, pat, the flower pattern on the drapery. And then the fireworks in the back are really cool too. All right, let's go through the rest of the booster box here. This is the rest of the booster box. I know there's a huge debate with like sub and dub. Like, what do you? What's better? I think generally people like lean towards the sub because it's you know you can't beat the Japanese actors, and there's a lot of bad American dubs. Uh, but let me tell you, man, the uh, Usopp voice actor. He's also the voice actor for Krillin from Dragon Ball Z. I love him, man. He cracks me up, dude. Usopp cracks me up, and that guy does such a great job of selling how insane, like... Oh! Here is another leader card. Man, when you when you pull it, it just... It hits you. Like, you don't expect it. You're, you're, you're pulling all these, like, regular-looking cards, and then there's a big face right in your face. It really stands out. And I love the compass in the background. Unfortunately, I do not know who this is, but I will. I will. Just give me more time. Probably, but maybe by the next case opening, subscribe for the next case opening. Maybe I'll I'll know her by then. Let me put that in the back there. But the uh, Usopp voice actor, he's hilarious. Does an amazing job. Great actor. The Nico Robin voice, American. I'm talking about American. She's a great actress too. The whole time when she was like telling them like, I don't want to be saved. Leave me alone. Go away. Shanks. Uh, she really sold that and all the crying and the sadness. Uh, also, Brooke, the voice actor of Brooke, who also does Wheeze from Dragon Ball Super. I love how he sells his lines. His voice is so calming. And then he'll just say something funny like, I want to see your panties. Or, can I see your panties, please? <laughs> like, all polite. That cracks me up, too. So, yeah, maybe <sighs> the uh, sub is generally better, but Dub has also some good actors, too. All right, guys, down to the last five booster boxes. We put a lot of great stuff in the back there, and I'll do a recap at the end of the video. I'm not sure what else there is to be pulled. If we, if it's possible, pull anything else uh, in this case. A lot of good stuff back there. Pretty happy with what I've gotten so far. Uh, let's just see what's next. All right, so we pulled the two alt art leader cards of the case. It's supposed to be two in a case. We pulled the special rare. There's one per case. And, uh, I, yeah, I think those are going to be the major hits. I don't know if there's going to be anything else in these boxes, but you never know. 
Let's find out together. I'm not a one piece CCG expert. Maybe there's still some cool stuff in here. Oh! Again, the, not my favorite arc, but I saw these cards online of him and I just love, I, I honestly do love these cards of, of him because I'm, I'm a, I love metal music and I love like characters like Spawn and Carnage and Venom. I like darkness. And these are so cool. I love the shadow. It just looks evil and menacing and interesting. He's there. He's cutting off the shadow. Look at the shadow in the front. Look at the texture on the shadow right there in the front. That's beautiful. All right, I'm really happy with this one. Cool. All right, let's get back into it. Uh, still a lot left in the booster box here. Let's see what else there can possibly be in here. Again, I'm sorry guys, I don't know all the characters. I tried my best. I was reading and watching One Piece day and night between my last case opening and uh, and this case opening. I caught up on 300 chapters, guys, 300. And it's still not enough. But give me some time. I know they're entering the new One Piece arc right now, like Eggland or Egghead arc or something like that. So yeah, I got a lot of catching up to do. I'm, I'm, I'm glad it's still going on. I hope it still goes on for years. Keep growing the TCG guys, keep keep getting new people in. All right, ninth box right here. I don't know if I ever finished my thought about like Luffy killing so many <laughs> marines like a lot of them are bad guys but some of them are just you know they sign up for the military thinking they're doing something right because a lot most of the pirates are like really evil evil people that hurt innocent life so but these guys are just getting like thrown into pits of fire like impel down getting their skulls crushed in by luffy's punches it's insane they're being turned into stone by boa hancock boa hancock by the way what an introduction to her oh my god she seems so evil and then she becomes an ally. That's the thing with anime. I see that mostly in anime where these villains that seem like irredeemable become allies. I mean, Boa Hancock, whoa, oof, what a, whew. every time I see her, dude, it's like, damn. And then we have, this is the alt art of the case. I wish I knew who that was. I don't, uh, you can hear my excitement. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna pretend like, you know, there's there's streamers or whatever. They'll be like, oh my god, I can't wait. I just pulled this. I'm not gonna be fake with you guys. I like the texture. I just don't know who that is. And not the biggest fan of this artwork. This artwork doesn't really pop to me. The background does. I like the texture of the background, but this this artwork's not really speaking to me. But yeah, Boa Hancock. Who would have thought she would fall in love with Luffy? I'm not sure how that relationship goes. And he he he's not interested in her in the slightest, but funny, funny dynamic there. All right, 10th box of the case, guys. If you're still with me somehow, Please put it in the comment section saying, hey, I'm still watching on the 10th box. This is taking a long time. <laughs> I don't know what it feels like for you guys, but uh, I, and uh, with editing, I can speed stuff up and like chop things up a bit, but I've been sitting in this chair for a while. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Um, shoot, let's see if we can get anything else, guys. Every box has an alt art. I know I have not pulled the, 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 the girl with the pink hair from the zombie arc. I know, she's a fan favorite, I should know her name. I forgot, I did know it. And I'm like, remember her name, remember her name. I'm trying to remember like hundreds of different names as I'm reading this manga and watching the anime, you know? And uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm a fake fan. Chapter 600 though, what's up? I'm, I'm heading for the 1000. Right, this is the second half of the booster box again guys please check out the auction on these three pieces of art i also do commissions if you want your your own favorite character done just message me um, i'll link my instagram my art account I, I have two different instagrams my art and then my collecting instagram i keep them separate 
You can message me on whatever, but the art one would be. There she is. God, her name is like on the tip of my tongue. But I, I, I can't remember. Yeah, message me on either or. I'll, I'll link both. But if you want your favorite character down in this style or a different style, I can do other things. Let me know. And then we have an alt art coming up. Which one is this? Oh, this is a secret rare. Alright, so there's five secret rares. Interesting. Um, and I guess the fifth one, if there was going to be a fifth one, it sh we wanted it to be the manga one. So, that, and it's not, but that's alright. Yeah, it's alright. We have another case to open, so maybe there's something good in there. Subscribe! Next case, in, case open coming out next week. So stay tuned for that. All right, the eleventh booster box, guys. We are we are almost at the end here. Again, do not buy these boxes for ninety dollars each, eighty dollars each. Go to the guy I buy from if you want. If you want, you don't have to, but if you, that's the cheapest guy I found, and I messaged. Had to be close to a dozen people on Instagram who Japanese different Japanese sellers. He was the best price, and he's a nice guy. Uh, good customer service, so just check out the link. Tell them I sent you. Get a little a little discount. I'm not sure if it's how big it is. I don't, I don't think I don't think it's a big, but the discount's a discount. And also the product is already cheaper than what you would buy from a watch. And there is our alt art, our super rare alt art. I don't know who this is, but I'm a fan. I like I like the white background. Kind of looks like he's in heaven. See the face down here with his eyes closed, like he's worshiping him. There's a dragon and is that a dragon? I think that's a dragon. Pretty cool, man. Cool texture. Gold dragon. He looks like a cool character. I'm looking forward to meeting him in the show there. All right, 12th and final box of the case. We have made it to the end, ladies and gents. I'm pretty happy with the pulls in the back there. A lot of cool cards, a lot of great texture. I'll do a recap at the end here. No God Pack, it seems, and no Manga Zoro, but maybe it'll be in the next case. Perhaps. Nice looking Shanks card. I don't know who that squid looking guy is, or octopus, or whatever. Man, again, that whole slavery arc. Oh my god, that is some dark stuff, man. People are just getting kidnapped like nothing. And like, and it's happening in the streets and no one does anything. People are being shot down in the streets. I mean, that's just normal world. The normal world in One Piece. People can just be shot down in the street. At least on, on that uh, piece of land. And like, no one does anything. No one cares. It's just... Why would you live there? I guess it's kind of like living in Gotham City. Like, why would you choose to live in that residence knowing how... Terrible, terrible it is. Alright, looking for the last alt art of the case. Should be one in here. Let's see what we get. Which one will it be? And here it is right here. We have... Oh! I didn't even know there was a Shanks alt art in here. I guess that makes sense. Ugh, duh. Oh, that is lovely. Let's let's take a gander at that, guys. Let's look at the face there. Man, this artist is brilliant. Wow, look at that, guys. Definitely gonna grade this. Beautiful. Let's put that in the back there. Okay, that was a great pull. Okay. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't like Shanks? Right, let's just hurry up and go through the rest of this. There's not going to be anything else in here. All right, let's review the hits here. These are the alt arts. And I just noticed something I didn't even realize at the time. And I'll, I'll show you. This is a pretty card. I don't really care too much about this character. I mean, she's a sweet character. It, it was funny how easily they got kidnapped, though. Like, they were really not street smart. That's, that's what's really great about the, the writer and creator of this 
show, every character has something about them. They either talk differently or funny, or there's something about their personality. He makes them all unique somehow, which is really hard to do when there's thousands of characters. But yeah, the, uh, the, the Zoro, I didn't realize, but I pulled the alt art Zoro. So I guess this is the, uh, the regular one. This is the regular secret rare, and this is the alt art secret rare. And then the alt, alt art secret rare would be the manga background. So, I mean, at least I pulled this Zoro, that's cool. And then we have the leader cards. And then we have the special rare. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you want to see another One Piece case opening. And please check out the drawings on eBay if you want to win one of the auctions. And message me if you want your own commission, your own original custom piece. And if you want to buy from the same seller I buy from, it's, just che it's the cheapest guy I found. Just being honest, you can buy, buy from whoever you want. I'm just trying to help you guys out, which also helps me out. Because I would love for him to send me free stuff to advertise. That would be a win-win for both of us. Just being honest. You don't have to buy from him. Just let you know. Check out his prices. You don't have to buy from him. Anyways, I'm going to end this video. All the links are down below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next case opening.